Hey, what's going on, everybody? Ixo coming at you here in the garage with some news. I don't even know how to fully express. I've been feeling this way, that way, going in the dumps, trying to bring myself back up with encouraging words, just like muttering in my mental. But I am not a happy camper. And I was gonna originally just be like, let's not talk about this. Let's not even bring it up because I was, kind of, I'll, I'll admit it, I was ashamed, I was angry, and I was just baffled by what I had done. I made a very big mistake, and I just made a little video um, yesterday, was it live streaming yesterday, kind of doing a little hint and asking people what they thought the problem could be. Some people thought that I, uh, like ruined my baskets, like I, I had painted my baskets without primer and some people thought that was possibly the problem. Maybe the paint was peeling up, maybe it was bubbling up and all that hard work we did was for no reason. Nope, that wasn't the reason. Some people thought that I you know, maybe accidentally ruined my recones because I was like, you know, what, what do you think the problem could be? That's not the problem. Nope, 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 but some people did get what happened. So let me go ahead and just walk you through the process because I, it was all like step by step with like eye opening moments and I was just getting six more and more angry as we uh, were going. So we just tore down and painted our subwoofer baskets, which is the frames for these recones, all those replacement parts. We wanted to make them look nice with white, gloss white coming from a flaky finish that wasn't even that really good looking like a black textured finish. So we used this table as you know the breakdown spot and we painted them right here on this little makeshift station with so to a type on in the middle to make sure nothing was falling over so let's just do a quick little walk here from this little thing right here we had some fans one steps two steps three steps four steps five steps so you get the idea we're like 20 feet away from my vehicle and yeah I, there's no sense in even i mean you can probably see it i'm just you can probably already see what i'm talking about right now look at my hood look at my hood uh what on earth have i done it's overspray central apparently i didn't give myself i didn't even think of it i that's the thing i didn't even think this was going to be a problem but apparently i didn't give myself enough space between that and this you know we had those fans blowing out and the particles were apparently still wet enough after that whole distance to stick totally baffling totally upsetting and it's pretty bad so i'll turn the camera around and i'll show you but like this is an expensive mistake and i was like ashamed embarrassed i'm like what the f what did i do like what what on earth how is this even possible this is a brand new vehicle with like 2000 miles on it and here i am doing a disservice to the damn thing by getting overspray paint on basically almost the whole thing it comes down almost to the backside here look this is the backside and that's there's some organic material obviously from parking underneath all these trees it's really a bad time with the uh the residue on there but golly I painted my baskets and I painted my van in the process. I, I was like jaw to the floor, totally upset about this. I, I came out several mornings after to realize it like it, it, and I didn't even know what was happening while it was probably setting into the, the thing and did it a whole, a whole nother day and didn't realize it then. And I was going back for day three, which was yesterday. And I'm like, no. And then I was able to get through and motivate myself to at least do something up up back and we ended up doing some weight shaving and that's going to be the next video but here's the hood here's the overspray right there and i went down to a shop i'm going to get some help here here's look look right here you can see we have like a little before and after of here's the overspray and here's none we did a small little clay bar application but this is going to take some real big time tlc so i got a friend of mine flawless who's up to the task so i i am i'm really i'm really kicking myself in the face for this guys because i know i know people are gonna be like man this guy's so so absent-minded and irresponsible he couldn't even think of to pull his truck back like i'll be honest with you that was the last thing on my mind especially since i was like doing all of the the right things with ventilation i thought i was all cool having a ventilated garage with fans sticking out of it doing something legit for the first time with a with a big mask on my face and i felt i felt like i was going towards something professional you know and 
I made a big mistake and I'm totally owning up to it and I am gonna have to live with <laughs> live with it. So we're gonna try to get it fixed off. I've already called uh, several places to just, because I know I can do it at home, but it's gonna take a long time and I have a lot of other things to do. So I'm gonna see how much it would cost to have someone kind of just undo what I just did. So there we go. Not very happy, but it's not the end of the world. A lot of YouTube videos are, are saying this is not you know, not uh, something permanent. You can get it off with just a little bit of TLC and, and time. So that's what's gonna happen, guys. I'm not the happiest, but I'm staying positive because things, things like this happen. And I'm not gonna let this go behind the scenes as something unmentionable because it's a big part of, of this kind of thing. Here I am thinking I'm all cool, painting my subwoofers for my build, and I end up altering some other part that ends up being now a part of the build. So I added an extra step and I didn't even know it. Right, one more thing I wanted to talk about. I got a lot of comments from breaking down my subwoofer basket on this table right here. As you can see, it's a little rickety. It's just on some sawhorses. So it, it, it moves a lot. You, you can see that it, it like moves really badly. So the reason why I was using my chisel, yeah, I know, I know. I was, I was using it and kind of applying force toward myself. It was so this table could be pressed into me without falling off that side. So the more I pushed it toward me, it wouldn't fall and the basket wouldn't fall. So every time I was pushing away from myself, the, the, the table was actually falling over. So I, I was trying to just do what I had to do in order to get the shot, but a lot of people did notice that and were considering my safety. So thanks for looking out. I, I ordinarily don't use sharp tools toward myself, but I, I was being very careful around that lip as an edge just so we could get it pushed, you know, you know, not off the table and break everything. There we go, guys. This is just a quick little update trying to explain everything that's going on. I just posted some updates on Facebook doing some uh, weight shavings. I'm, I'm not gonna do too much of a mention in that in this video, but stay on the lookout for that. I'm, I'm actually up to 345 pounds of weight shaved off of this so that right there is the, that's a lot that's basically all my mids and highs set up basically another couple of base amps um so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results of the weight shaving so far like center console jack spare tire stuff like that which is not going to be necessary with with this so i'm just going to let this video go up for what it is just totally owning up to something that that was that made me upset but i'm trying to to alter my perspective on it and use it as a motivating factor to stay positive so, all right, until the next video, this is EXO signing out. Hopefully I've been in focus this whole video because I'm, I'm using uh, my automatic settings and we're, we're trying that on for size. So, until the next one, this is EXO signing out with my, with my recones and my makeshift station. We've only got a few more baskets to complete. Uh, and we'll have all 13 painted. So, all right, I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for being here. <laughs>